has covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself with ornaments, and as a bride adorns herself with jewels. If you'll honor her, if you'll cherish her, if you'll cling to her, forsaking all others, she'll be a fountain of life. For the earth, earth brings forth her bud, and the garden causes the things that are sown in it to spring forth. So the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth from all the nations. She'll be a respite from the storms of life, and you will never be without an earthly friend. Her laughter and her love will make every day an adventure. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is among men, and he shall dwell among them, and they shall be his people, and God himself may be among them. And he shall wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there shall no longer be any death. There shall no longer be any mourning or crying or pain. The first things have passed away. You'll love this man. You'll respect him. You'll honor him. If you cling to him, he'll be a fortress of strength. He'll be a shelter from the storms of life and a well of love. And he who sits on the throne said, Behold, I am making all things new. And he said, Right, for these things are faithful and true. And he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega the beginning and the end, and I will give to the one who thirsts from the spring of the water of life without cost. to forget your birthday from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> I made him forget our wedding anniversary. But I promise to always speak the truth in love. I promise to put you above all other priorities in my life. Even my business, and that's a big one. <laughs> I'll always respect you. And I'll never, ever take you for advantage. I'm take advantage of you, take you for granted. Thank you for taking me as your husband. And for all that I am and all that I'm, all that I lack. Above all, I promise to forever love you unconditionally. If there's one thing my dad taught me, it's how to love and be faithful to his woman. I promise to believe in your dreams. You hope you achieve that. And I promise to love you with my whole mind, body, and spirit. I promise to trust you. I promise to take care of myself and every way I know how, this way I know how, like, my emotions and my heart, and I promise to love God and always look to Him for everything I need, first. And I promise to, um, be, um, your wife forever. <laughs> 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 the best one. <laughs> I love you forever. <laughs> I like this. Okay, bye. That's, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> with this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, and with all that I am, and with all that I am, and all that I have, and all that I have, I commit to you. I commit to you.
if you would place that on there in his finger and repeat after me with this ring with this ring i be with i be with and with all that i am with all that i am and all that i have and all that i have i commit to you and seeing that Aaron and Jency have committed themselves to one another in holy matrimony before these witnesses and the God of the universe, it is my privilege and honor to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Aaron Hogan, and you may kiss your bride. Hogan, I just bless you, sweetheart, and um, it's been a blast uh, raising you. You know what I've recognized about you is you get, I can come around you and start to smile, and that's a good thing, baby. That's a good thing. And I want to say, Aaron, I suppose, I suppose that if there is a man in the world that is worthy of our Gency, it is Aaron Hogan. <laughs> Thank you, my brother. We couldn't ask for better. My baby. She is um, the two of these boys with the apple of Sheila and I got. And um, they are beyond special. You're never wrong. I love you. You're never wrong. And, uh, I think you got an easy one to love. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, sweetheart. <laughs> Welcome to the whole year. Yeah. Um, yeah, we just had some a lot of tears looking for our men, basically. <laughs> uh, we had, you know, we both encouraged each other along the way. Like, he's coming, I know he's coming. <laughs> he's got to be coming. And I cry, and she cry, and I cry. And she cry. <laughs> I was so grateful to you, Aaron. And um, just the journey that it's been until now, um, waiting for who we get just to. So it's awesome to see you get here, and um, we're just so proud to have you as a part of our family. And <laughs> Tonight, we're all witnessing here um, the provision of our Lord, of someone who understands Jensi and who encourages her in, in, in what she is and who she uh, strives to be and who she really is. I don't know if there's anything that makes me happier than when I see like my sister's happy. And I have never seen you this happy. And that just brings me so much joy. So thank you, Erin. Um, and I'll just echo what Will said. I'm so excited that our family grew tonight and it's so <laughs> special to me. I hope to be that in love one day. I've never seen anything like it. It's all. It's inspiring and I love you so much. Thanks for everything. I really do. I don't know. I mean, I just love you so much. I'm really excited to get another brother. <laughs> Aaron and Jensi. Um, I just, I'm so happy that Jensi, we in the family we've met, you know, a couple different boys in our life. <laughs> and, uh, 
and I can tell that you are somebody that will keep Gen Z, the, the Gen Z that we love, and make her uh, that much more Gen Z. Will, I'll start with you. Uh, thank you for being the brother I needed to speak, I needed, and speaking truth into my life even when I didn't want to hear it. You're the only two that ever really, I feel, speak wisdom into my life and encouragement and my passions. Mel sold me my very first 35 millimeter camera. Go Mel! Yeah. 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 And that's a big deal because it's because of him that I even got into my profession at all. Dory, thank you for being such a thoughtful person. I want to be more like you. Jill, thank you for your love and support through all of my years and your, your creativity inspires me. My grandma, Mama Hogan, I know you were worried about coming. You were a little bit antsy. How's it going to be? Is it going to rain? But I'm glad that you showed up. You've been amazing in my life. Always supportive, remembering every birthday and always asking how I'm doing. Mackenzie Rose, you are like a little child that I got to raise. <laughs> It has been so much fun being your big sister. Mr. Ben, thank you for being that stable, constant voice of stability in my life. Adam, my brother, <coughs> my only brother, <coughs> I love you. Jenny's my soon-to-be, hopefully, sister-in-law. <laughs> Maybe one day in the near four months. <laughs> <laughs> Let's set a date tonight. <laughs> here, here, here.